I just had one of the nearest death experiences of my life. I was, I was coming down to the Mullen. I timed it well. I want to get here at 6 o'clock. I hear the bell. And I was looking at the bell going by. Totally relaxed. And uh, I was looking up the bell. I missed the pothole. It wasn't really, not really a pothole, but it's a, it's an indent in the road. Uh, I I went over. I was I wasn't clipped in. I would have went over the saddle or over the the front handlebars. The back tire, back wheel came up. It sent me up in the air. Um, I lost my grip on the handlebars and then I came in to the headset I got knocked in the crotch there as it, as it, as it pushed me forward and the bike was like bearing all over the road and losing the wheel somehow it stayed up uh, I went over to the other started bearing over to the other side of the road into towards a wall how the bike stayed up I don't know it would have been a major crash if I had gone down. I felt like I was going to go down the way. The way I went down, the time I got the concussion. Very close one. Very close one. First, the first incident, I was straight over. Cousin clipped in, it kept me in, kept me on the bike. Then, and then, without my hands on the handlebar, you know, you're you're trying to control, you're trying to keep the momentum, to keep the bike up. Sort of using your crotch, you sort of go down, you go down on it, go down here. So they're trying to see guys, pro riders doing it, and trying to hold the wheel up. And somehow I just managed to make it. Just, just I stopped the bike right before the wall on either side of the road. Close one. Close one. I don't know where's the church around here, Catholic church. Maybe, I don't know if the church saved me or the curse. There's the dent that I hit. There's the bell. The dent there. And all the way down there is the wall. That's how much time I was losing control of the bike. It's only when I got down to the wall I had the bike under control. So, I don't know.